Hello everybody, Good Billy Q here with more Dungan Ropa. I learned that you save via the student handbook, which you haven't gotten yet. So just gotta There. Uh last we left off, we were still doing introductions. So let's go no. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Woo! F bomb! Let's go! Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan! He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet... Oh, nice to meet you too! Yo! Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Hey! What's up, girl? Anyone would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her tons on magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they're not real. What can we do? Oh, come on. Don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all, like, depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photo the photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes all big and super and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Uh oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Hey, girl! Ultimate- uh. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere on that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't really have any identity or presence. Would this be- girl be one of them? Um, so... Wh what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Uh, well, I guess you don't have to tell me. Whew. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online. So I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hey, baby! Ultimate programmer! Mm, sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We met just for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shihiro Fujisaki is known all for the cutting edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that little timid bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, just... You, you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? 
No, no, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Hmm? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. <sighs> That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Heya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Swimming pro! What up, my gal? Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. I'm like a fish. She's even been chosen for the up upcoming Olympic cadet. Yeah, she is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, and proportions have been widely discussed online. Hmm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. Haha. -ha. No, not something like that. It is like that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. Like my old gym teacher said, you gotta repeat something seven times in order to register it to memory. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you wanna remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. Hmm. Um. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out and write it down later. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sure, same same here. The only thing I learned is that she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Those four over there are the only ones left. Da. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Oh, you got a bit of a you got a German H accent. Okay. That makes shit easier. Celestia Luden... Huh? <laughs> Lutenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would actually prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would rather you much call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, even though it's entirely full of Ita, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies, including her coordinate. They say she went, she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of the Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Hey! I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. What's up, man? Ultimate clairvoyant. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community. A trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get that fortune-telling stuff, but it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be... Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What? What happened? For serious? I saw it. I looked right at it. I, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And the guardian angel is your guardian angel! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey! We should grab ourselves some brewskis sometime and get real deep in Lemurian and civilization. Ha ha ha! What? No, we're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, seeing. 
Well, it's a long story. A few times. Yeah, but that is a long story. Name's Byakuya Togami. What up, dude? Affluent progeny. Progeny. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. And that's the most half ass introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ul ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir of he's the heir apparent of his family's mashed and financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ult ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. Exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy online thread online. Come on. We're done with interruptions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Azora says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. I am Sakura Ogami. Alright. What up, girl? Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. And I remember. She competed in martial arts tournaments in America and won. Despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Even Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the fanged missing link. That's just rude. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Ha, yes! I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you- I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right of that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, hmm what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. <laughs> I'm not sure that's just a shame for me. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Je ne sais quoi. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time for standing around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, oh, that's that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something, but what was that about? Um, listen, uh... Blech. Well, you see... Uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and you just fell asleep, right? Well, the same is true for, like, all of us. What, seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's happened to you, right? But th that's, that's just weird. That would mean every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's what we're all freaking out! That's not the only thing! You saw where all the windows and classes were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates! What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone! Um, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PD wear anywhere, either. And then there's the main hall here! The front exit's completely blocked by some giant metal hatch! What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in like some kind of like, you know, a crime or something. Is it like What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off when we're actually not in school? Hey, come, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up! I bet this is all some sort of school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's it, so I'm gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh. Well, if that's all it is, that's not time for me. You know what I mean. I was way up too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began.
Let the sweet Jesus. Here he is. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. That voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? Why did you just take off like that? Could it be? Oh uh, yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. It would be totally freaked out if this was real. <laughs> you know. All right, I guess I'll head out too. What do they got planned for us next? Huh. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that app too. I'm gonna go and kill the mood. Eh. Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. Was that just that thing? I will see you all soon. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. An uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get out of my mind. And looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This. This doesn't like seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Really weird. However, maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of- no, I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yes. Darn tootin'. Well... Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Huh. True. If you got before, we learn nothing. Our choice is to push it. Okay, so they re-say that. How you doing? <laughs> Shit. What kind of hell? <coughs> Shit. You okay? I'm fine! Fuck. What kind of hell kind of game are they playing at? What the hell? Is this a bad, bad joke? Uh, um, Something weird is going on here, right? Not, it's not just me? Alright, let's get out. Okay, Jim is... straight ahead. Right, I ran into it earlier. Oh good, I can't use that. In we go. Ding dong. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea if Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be a bunch of pain in my balls. Really ain't much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, oh, this place is even worse. Uh, um, why isn't anyone here? Walking through the halls. I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? They're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure of it. Huh. All he can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this hell over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? About those dumb, no running. Well then, I too shall go. Hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for some tutorial action. You press the tab key to reserve the room you're in. Reserving will display the people and the objects you can interact with. Sorry for late notice. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Um, Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Total silence. For other reasons, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. 
tab. Oh! This school has a lot of TVs. It could all just be for some weird school broadcast, could they? Display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go there are ultimate, right? So it's probably just a tiny fraction of all their rewards. Let's go! Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh! It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? I told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Okay! There he is! The bastard. Hi! Huh? Uh, teddy bear? Oh, yeah, yeah! Voice acting time! I'm not a teddy bear. I'm a robot. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I had ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What was I seeing? It was utterly, totally incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Why is Teddy Bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, I took- Come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! And I'm your headmaster! Yeah! That works? Hey, what? Ah, I moved! <laughs> Seriously, man, calm the fuck down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's blazing! You've cut me deep, deeper than the marina trench. My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it! <laughs> ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams! I just couldn't bear it! Right on me! Well, bears out. Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down! Now, quiet down. Uh, okay, so. Huh. He's abandoned the gag. Good Everyone, morning. stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's you your problem? have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable intern ceremony! First, let's talk about a bit about what your skill life will hero be like. Uh-oh, uh, make no mistake, you few students are so full of intent to represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you all live communally together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding to the end date for this communal life... There isn't one! In other words, you'll be here until the day you die! Such is the school life you've been assigned! What did you say? Until the day we die? Yeah. Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you'll lack for all the fun and conveniences! Uh, hold on That's a second. like the least of our worries right now? Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not screwing with you! I'm no liar! Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. Haha! <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again! Cut off? So all those metal plates over the school. 
They're to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're here for! No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon! Hey, come on! Come on, what, what the hell is this? I don't care for the school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out! It's not funny anymore! Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie. A joke. A bunch of skeptics. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> what are you but I guess do? you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether it's whether I say it's true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs what I speak to the undeniable truth. Most Having to live here forever would be quite surprising. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? Uh, you decided of your own free will to attend Hope Peaks Academy, didn't you? And before the entrance exam is finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, but um... you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've created a special clause for those who'd like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be al allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another... M murder yes, Stabbing, indeed. strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that, really. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill thought shot through my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme. And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? The hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It, it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Hey, yeah, stop blabbering out with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Yes. Blabbering? Blabbering? What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yippee! And you can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead and go on a kill! Kill! Killing spree! Uh, Alright, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? Let's get scared the hell out of us! So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm yeah, because, I mean, right? you know, this is all some, some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Fuck! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom! It was the sound of floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself in the air. He flew at Monokuma, straight and fast as a bullet. He locked on his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! 
I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Get him! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time! Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn peeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Uh, hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him to silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? What the? That, that sure shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies and whatever. When it's real life, I've never seen anything like it. Bert, but you know, this means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! Ah! He's back! Ah, there's another one! You Damn. son of a bitch! You tried to kill me just now! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. Ha! Uh, I'll let you off with a warning this time. You better be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't just get off with a little sweat on the butt! This is bad. Hey, so this means there's like a bunch more of you around here somewhere? Yep. Not a cumulative in place all throughout the school! Yep! Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere! And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you just all saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgetting with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. But that's not even a punishment. That's that's just wrong. Well... Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry for your school, I have a little something for you! Ta-da! It's your official student handbook! Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the E Handbook. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name, so always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook, it has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it can spill you waterproof, splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to his space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons! Very resistant! It contains all our school regulations, so make sure you revert them thoroughly! You guys... You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated! Shing. Rules are restrict, yes, but they also protect! Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws! Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings us to the entrance ceremony to a close. Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary life school, and see ya! Whew! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? What? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If you want to get out of your life, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone... That's... You're about to be abducted into nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school? And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. This is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other is there words... anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that... Nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, 
I looked around at others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words have been planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school. It had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Dead eight. Prologue. D Surviving students. Fifteen. Hello, Jeff. Bazinga. And there it goes. So next we get to do chapter. Yes. Da, 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 da. Anyways, I was saying. Now that we can see the trailer as is. Stiff. Next time we get to do the first thing proper. With our dingle rumpus. Ah, there we go. I finally said it. Granted, we've already seen this intro, so I probably don't have to sit here for it entirely. So, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.